Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we now have the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Score! Score, score, score. This is uh, one of the things that happens when you uh, contribute to the channel. Just want to say thank you so much to those who did. Now we're going to get walking and talking live streams via the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is the unboxing of what has been called the best cell phone gimbal on the market. I don't know if it's true. We're going to find out. Let's get to it. And let's start ripping off the plastic. Now we have one complete box. And from here, we have a little sticky tab on the top. I'm not sure if I can break this with my finger. BRB. Okay, sticky tab is now broken. Let's open and see what we have inside, shall we? Ooh. Owner's manual. Very important. Ah, looky, looky. Nice carrying case, DJI. Look, look, look. It looks like uh, the same thing you get from when you buy the drones. I like it so far. I'm impressed. And to open it, of course, we have the usual little DJI snap. And there we have it, folks. One gimbal. DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Get rid of that little thing. And it appears to come with a USB charging connection. Let's have a look at the gimbal itself. Now I will tell you that I have done extensive research on this gimbal and it is made of plastic. It is made cheaply, but the quality of what it gives you is supposed to be rather excellent. So like any other gimbal, it's going to have, wow, it actually has zoom controls. Can you see that? Uh, may be able to zoom on your cell phone if you plug it in with the right kind of connector. I will have to read the owner's manual and see. That would be awesome. Uh, joystick right here. There's the joystick that will control. It moves 360 degrees, so that will be nice. I'm sure it'll be smooth. And it is also programmable, which means it has an app that will control how fast the joystick rotates the phone. Uh, the record slash picture button. There's also a time lapse function on this, which will create spectacular time lapses. Uh, there is a USB port on the back right here. Let me show you guys. That is a full, big USB port. What is that for? You can use the battery in this thing, which I believe lasts eight hours, to charge a USB device while you are using your gimbal. Pretty cool, huh? It may last 12 hours. I'm not sure. It's eight to 12 hours. I can't exactly remember. On the bottom, very, very important. Can you guys see the quarter 20 thread? Um, I would show you what that's for, but I'm currently using it on the setup right here. Basically, what will happen is there's an L bracket It'll come out like this. The cell phone will be setting like this. The mic and the video light will be over here, or excuse me, on this side, will be on this side. So as you can see guys, it's just a very simple setup and I would gladly show you what this looks like with my cell phone on it, but currently my cell phone is charging and is almost dead. So this is the gimbal. You will see walking and talking live streams from it, and you will also finally get to see some incredible time lapses. You will finally get to see frame rates up to 120 frames per second using an app called Filmic Pro, which means you will finally get to see super slow motion in some of my vlogs. I am so excited about this. I cannot believe it's finally here. I'm going to plug it in now and charge this bad boy up. And you probably ask, where's the charging port if it has a USB charger on the back? The charging port is here, and that's what the cable is for. See how it has the mini USB? Can you see the mini USB right here? Plug that into here. This goes into a USB power charger, and voila, we have power. Let's charge it. 